So when you very first get started, you can start with either the mountains or the sky. But personally, I always like working with the sky first because it's going to take the longest to dry. Um, you're going to be starting off with really dabbing some water on there. Try and get the background really nice and wet and start sprinkling in some color. Do you want this to be a sunrise? Do you want this to be a clear blue sky, a cloudy day? Um, personally, for this first one, we're going to start off with a night sky. So with the night sky, a lot of people think it's just going to be a lot of blue and black. And yes, we will probably use that as our base, but we're also going to be adding in some hints of purple. We do have a lot of purple in the Colorado night sky. So we're going to be adding in some purple, some more black and blue. And once we are done adding in our color, and we're pretty happy with the distribution, we're going to be adding in our stars. Now, some people can add in stars by waiting until it dries and coloring with a white colored pencil. You can use white paint if you have white paint, but again, you wanna wait till it dries. But the method that we are doing today is a very fun sciencey method where we're actually going to be using iodized salt. The salt kind of works by sucking up the water and dehydrating it. That's why if you drink salt water, you're not actually getting hydrated, you're dehydrating yourself. So we're gonna sprinkle some salt on and that will cause the water in the areas where the salt has fallen to dry up and create a really interesting pattern. This is kind of what's going to look like once it dries a bit more. So you can see that creates a really interesting kind of pattern there. Next, we're going to be removing the tape. We kept the tape on there to keep any paint from going onto our mountains, but we wanna make sure that we can actually paint our mountains now. So we're going to very carefully be removing the tape from our mountains. If you try and rush this, you might end up with a few little tears. A few little tears are okay, but you wanna make sure that you're not pulling too hard or too fast. You don't wanna to tear too much of your paper. And it's important to remember that the edges, the tape are wrapped around the edges. So you wanna unwrap the edges while you're working. Once you've removed your tape, you can decide what kind of mountains you want to do. Are your mountains going to have trees? Are they going to have bushes? Are they going to have shadows? I'm gonna go ahead and start adding just a few sprinklings of trees in here, because trees kind of help make the mountains a little bit more 3D and they show perspective. The closer the tree is, you're going to make it bigger, maybe more detailed. The farther away the tree is, the smaller it's going to be. And that's showing the perspective of your landscape. I might even add a little bird in here just to kind of show some wildlife. I'm going to pick a cardinal because it's a nice pop of red and warm color amongst all of these cooler colors of this kind of cool green and these cool blues and purples. Once I've added all of the detail that I would like, I'm going to add some shadows to the mountains. I like to do this after adding some of the trees because again the further something is away the less detail it actually has so by adding the shadow and the water on top of my trees it causes a bit of a blur effect they become less sharp and so it kind of also forces that perspective the closer something is to you the more in focus it is and the farther the way the harder it is to kind of discern once you've added in your shadows, you can add a bit more detail to your trees, give it some trunks, give it more pops of color, and then at the end, you are done. You can wait for it to dry, and once it's fully dried, you can actually sweep off any extra salt that you have on your picture, and just toss that in the trash. Or you can leave the salt on there, though once it fully dries, it may kind of flake off all on its own. Thanks for painting with us today.